What's good, Humber Squad? It's your boy Homer Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today we're back again with Dex, Dr. Dre featuring Eminem. Forgot about Dre remix official video. Now look, y'all. It's like this: when it comes to Dex, one way or another, even though he's independent, right? You know he always wants to try and get Eminem's attention. And with the way how he's been remixing almost any Eminem song from Rap God to Kill Shot to Godzilla and hell even have a song that is 10 minutes called The Next Rap God. And I reacted to that and my god when I looked at my reaction time for that and such nigga even though the video was 10 minutes. And it's like this, not only just mine, but anybody else who was reacting to that video, it was 30 plus minutes of it, because that was too much bars. But this one right here, this is a classic song right here, because it's like this, anytime when I heard this song, bro, because it's like this, y'all already know I'm Jamaican, so 9 times out of 10, I wasn't born well one, I wasn't born in the US so I didn't know much about this type of music but I did know about Eminem a few or certain times back in Jamaica and such but ever since when 2018 came around and the Kamikaze came out and because of Eminem I'm starting to listen to more lyrical music hey, I've tried to find any music whether it's old or recent or new any Eminem song or so, whether it be him or him with Dr. Dre or whatnot, I don't care. Because it just shows you that he came a long way and he's still running the game. But this song right here, I've always listened and I can never get tired of it. So it's like this enough talking because my voice is going out. So I feel a little sick and all, but I'm going to power through. So, like I said, we might check this music video out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And Without further ado, let's get in the video. Sorry if I get this name. I can't, I can, I'm not spelling this one. Mediocrity, mediocrity is a, re, is a result of complacency. Hmm. Yeah, that's true though. Bullseye, nigga. Acting like you never even heard of me When every beat I touch I'm doing surgery I can rap for eternity Niggas gotta refer to me Built it up independent Was never part of a nursery mm. And every time I ever met some adversity I was never one to run And I currently Had it occur to me That every It's a good thing the lyrics are here Cause When Cause you are Y'all already know When it comes to us Try to break down Or catch some of Dax's bars Man you would have to Replay it Three or four Five times or so So Neat and every time I ever met some adversity, I was never one to run and I currently had it occur to me that every single bit of deterrence is the reason that I'm able to murder beats. I'm not even in the category with niggas you place me with. My beat cuts give your face a lift. Mm, my beat cuts give you face a lift. Face lift. I'm able to murder beats. I'm not even in the category with niggas you place me with. My beat cuts give your face a lift. I see niggas clicking up to erase the kid just so they could try to go and copy paste the shit. I remember days back in the face of it. They try to box me in. I got to shake the shit. Now I race every track, every bass I hit. First drum so fast that I lace my kick. I remember in those days, rapper I eat rhyming and OJ couldn't even afford me a gold chain. I was in no way ready to go play. Then I found Dax and I made him my code name. Now everybody's speaking on me. They wanna throw shade. I don't got time chit chatting with no names. I'm in my own lane, looking out both ways, trying to swerve in. I'ma hit you with bro. Hey, he basically saying right there that look he don't got time for all this beef and so and so he's trying to get he's trying to get in his own lane make his own path make his own history and such in the music game and trust me so far he's on the he's he's getting up there day by day Time chit chatting with no names. I'm in my own lane, looking out both ways. Try to swerve in, I'ma hit you with road rage. Y'all know me, the most underrated, the most hated. The one hip hop tries to say is not shit like it's constipated. Mm. Your beats is the occupation. Mm. So every single time I get a shot, I take it. Aim and face it, one way straight at the matrix. Independent, back by myself, so Satan locks jaws every time I'm baking. Mm. The awful guy, the one that they falsify, the one they cannot try to modify, the one who receives every awkward eye, cause his style is the one they can multiply. True. Let's face it, this nigga has multiple styles to his music. 
One minute he rapidly rapping fast and such, next minute he doing a the typical or whatever flow as they call it. Then he gonna do some chopping. It's like this. This nigga, and plus he can sing too. Let's face it. This nigga can. Nobody can try to copy his type of flows, his style or so. Nobody. But myself so Satan locks jaws every time I'm baking. The awful guy, the one that they falsify, the one they cannot try to modify, the one who receives every awkward act because his style is the one they can multiply. In a league of my own, I'm a compromise, the cost of my peace is the cost of mine. The talk of mine is rap game concubine. Try to save my soul was a cost of time. Hey. So I stick to myself because the flow was essential inside of a drought. Depression and pain are effects of the game, but they numb to the sound of a sold out crowd. I reach for their hands as they wave in the tide of the praise is enough that I know I could drown in a sea of deceit that in turn is the key to the green that they Sheep all rapping about. Huh? Then I log on and see people tweet that on nobody bump my shit. The fucks I can mainstream dick. Last when I did 300k off this bitch. Dang. Came in the game 22 off rip. Earned every dollar, every cent. Mm. They crafted the skills I compared to the greats in the biz. By the time I was 26, mm. a lyrical misfit. Twisted, braggadocious, and gifted in an era full of tricks and gimmicks. So consistent, they hate and ignore the vision and oppose the euphemism. Fuck. Ooh, ooh. This, look at this little breakdown right here. So the youth, I missed them. Euphemist them. I like how he always, and it's a good thing, like I said, it's a good thing that he's doing these, doing the captions of, cause nigga, I couldn't be able, and it's like this, sorry that I've been talking and such, but, 9 times out of 10, do I have to, cause at this point, with the way how he is, it will be, this will be like, the same thing with the 10 minute, 10 minute reaction, or 10 minute song, with his next, Rap God and such, what I reacted to. We're gonna be like half an hour and such, so yeah. Compared to the greats in the biz by the time I was 26, mm. a lyrical misfit, twisted, braggadocious, and gifted in an era full of tricks and gimmicks. Mm. So lyrical misfit, braggadocious, and gifted in an era full of tricks and gimmicks. Basically, talking about how the rap game is nowadays. Like, you would literally have to blend in with a certain is like this if you have certain if you have a certain look about you and such the industry is literally gonna use you in a way just gonna milk you dry and then when they're done with you they're gonna go on to the next one they hate and ignore the vision and oppose the euphemism fuck statistics i come through the noise and difference my style cannot be mimicked the energy shift is electric the voltage in it strikes down and shocks your system mm. ah, do you want to see a lyricist go crazy bet money that these fucks won't play me they try shame and destroy you my name and these fuck boys still couldn't break me hey. ah, you want to know why the whole world hates me right. i spit truth and i rhyme off safety and they know that i just might maybe be the motherfucking goddamn greatest i'm off it i'ma go get a job in the office it's like this when y'all see when I saw the the behind the scenes on his Instagram and such, it looked it looked funny as hell. Don't get it twisted. He can rap, but this nigga is something else with his acting. Like maybe a, be the motherfucker goddamn crazy. I'm off it. I'ma go get a job in the office. Away from the rap game gossip and back to the times when I'd rap in a closet for marginal profit. Mm. I remember the times when I'd have to mop it with empty pockets and no money in my wallet. I scooping the poop residue from a bathroom garbage. I remember the day. And he's like this. Y'all can't say he didn't say j It's like this. In the 10 minute song where I was talking about, right? If y'all haven't, go check it out. But in that 10 minute song, the next rap god, not one of those words was janitor. Not one. Even if it was a 30 minute reaction and such, of all the times that I've hearing it back and forth and such, not one of them I heard janitor. Pockets and no money in my wallet. I scoop in the poop residue from a bathroom garbage. I remember the days, remember the blood, remember the pain, remember the night, remember the fights, remember the liquor and different girls every night with the merry and white. Mm. Getting off work, I remember the bike, the ride to the studio, paying for time, the slash of the vein when the skit so internal. Humane tried to eat me and take me alive. Talking to God in the dance with the devil when he promised he would take me to a whole nother level. Mm. The cocaine lines and the contact highs on the rides in the night of the goddamn ghetto. Hey. Strength was in clubs, throwing the ones after getting cheated on by a bitch that I love. And drowning in drinks and throwing it up and doing it again because I didn't give a fuck. Getting up early, the people who heard me, curved me, gave time to, but didn't deserve me. The generation currently trying to desert me when I'm the best they got that's under 30. That just think about it when it comes to lyricists, he's the best under 30. 
do but didn't deserve me. The generation currently trying to desert me when I'm the best they got that's under 30. The disrespect, the slander, and the indirect effect of shit that they project on my life, which in turn is an introspect of their lives and how they like intellect. Think about it. A lot of people who's hating on Dax, they don't want to come to the terms that every time when he's speaking something, let's face it, it be a hundred percent true and y'all don't want it some of y'all don't even want to accept it or respect it y'all want to try to cancel the man for speaking something that is true about how the rap game is today and with this damn cancel culture business and such look last time I checked what happened to freedom of speech hmm? apparently now that apparently you would you're gonna apparently now people will cancel the freedom of speech now because if oh my god it's like this y'all there are certain times when stuff should be say and stuff shouldn't be say but it's like this at the end of the day if you're not serious about it it could be either be a joke or just your opinion even if you don't gotta agree with it and such you, can't, you have to respect it. Don't go saying that, oh no, you, oh, for your information, did it? Look here, YouTube, you know, I ain't trying to show it, but this is basically to the people who are trying to want to cancel anybody for saying something that not only is their opinion, but it could be actually true. Me. The generation currently trying to desert me when I'm the best they got that's under 30. The disrespect, the slander, and the indirect effect of shit that they project on my life, which in turn is an introspect they of their like. lives and how they like intellect. I remember the days, remember the phase. My mind was at war and my thoughts were deranged when the hate would engulf in the flame on my page and the rage would inject you inside of my veins. If he commented lame, he would shit on my name, put a knife on my back and then smile to my face. I remember the bitch who was making the claims in the day in the court that I proved they were fake. I remember November, December, the meeting and call when I said I would never push an agenda ever so Damn. And I saw this part of it, like you gonna play me today, bitch. Yeah? The meeting and call when I said I would never push an agenda, ever wow. surrender and fake to pretend for a corporate America. The flash, the temp for the show I didn't get for the day that I lost, the day that I met her, the day that I knew I would live forever, the day that I knew I became a contender. Damn. I just wanna see a lyricist go crazy. Bet money that these folks won't play me. They try shame and destroy in my name, and these fuck boys still couldn't break me. Huh? You wanna know why the whole world hates me? I spit truth and I rhyme off safe. Basically, I believe that was literally what I was talking about. That the fact that he he literally said it right here. I speak truth and rhyme off safety. But basically, this part of what I like that he spits the truth. Think about it. Look how some of the industry rappers are today. Back then, when it came to the rap music and so, I bet you you could say anything and don't try it and you can get away with it. Even if it was wrong, even if it was right, at the end of the day, it was their opinion, they said it, and you can't do nothing about it. But nowadays, now, rappers who rap about any rappers who want to rap something that's just off their head, they're going to get canceled for it. Like, what happened? Like, I'm saying. What happened to the freedom of speech? I get there sometimes you can say some stuff and it sounds it sounds wrong and so and so. I get it. But it's like this. There are there were there there are many times when people do be saying something and it could be either a joke or just their opinion, like I said. But nah, people want to cancel it just because they they ask they behind don't wanna take it as a joke when it's a joke but who am I right my boy still couldn't break me huh? you wanna know why the whole world hates me I spit truth and I rhyme off safety and they know that I just might maybe be the motherfucker Nowadays, don't nobody wanna rap. Everybody wanna cap. Everybody wanna grab gats and flash cash and talk trash when it's Dax and support the cats that's doing half in the man. Fuck that, Dax, that's proof that the demand for the facts. Back. Hey, he's basic. That little part there where he went off, like, look. Like, look at this. Nowadays, nowadays, don't nobody wanna rap. Everybody wanna cap. True. Hey, so nobody wanna rap, everybody wanna cap. cap, everybody wanna grab gats and flash cash and talk trash when it's Dax and support the cats that's doing half in the man. Mm. Fuck that, Dax, that's proof that the demand for the fast blast past that far in advance. If anything, they try to put him up or against, so everything next is straight fucking revenge.
Damn, I thought B was gonna come in again. No, the B. Hey man, shout out to Dax again. And it's like this. Sorry, I was late on it and all. If this was two days late and all, but hey, worth the wait, man. But it's like this, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homie Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.